Welcome back to my uh, indoor studio. This section is going to be entitled How to Go Uphill. And there's three major ways of going uphill. And uh, as you go along you can combine them, modify them, a lot of different things. So the first thing is uh, what we call traversing the hill. Second thing is sidestepping. Third thing is herringbone. So sidestepping is when we have a mild hill. Then the last video we saw how to do a step turn. What we're doing in a herringbone, we're actually going to do a right turn, left turn, right turn successively. So our skis are going to be splayed about like this. And again, this is very important to know where those tails are. Because if you step on one, that will mess you up. Okay. So let's talk about traversing. Uh, traversing, let's assume that we have a hill over here. Now it's too steep for me to ski straight up it. So what we often do is take a slight cut at it, sort of like a switchbacks on a trail, cut down the slope. In that case you're just skiing uphill and using that traction under your foot, putting a lot of that weight on there to get that traction all the time. And then you switch directions and go the other direction up that hill climb some more until you can't climb in an open slope and then switch back. So the trickiest part about that is doing those turns. And uh, that brings up uh, how to do a reversal turn. And that is um, how you take it want to start going over there in one step. So there's several ways to do it. Uh, one one way is to put your poles way out in front of you, so when you squee swing your ski tips um, over, they won't hit the poles. So all you do is just pick that ski up and make a big turn. And a lot of times you'll have to go all the way to 180 degrees, and you can see it's a little bit of a struggle, and you'll be on a, on a hill. Once you can make that initial step, you can switch the poles around and bring that other ski around and you switch directions. Another way is to actually put the ski poles behind you a little bit. And that way you can make a sharper turn. Now this, make the left toe, I'm going to turn to left, make the turn ski pole way behind you on the left and use the right to stabilize. And then you kick that ski up and around. And hopefully you won't step on your ski pole. But this way you can get 180 degrees if you keep going. And then the right ski, you lean forward, just bring it on around. Okay, so that's the elements of the traversing. The next one is, of course, sidestep, which we practiced in the first section. And uh, there's not much difference in that except for what we'd be doing on a steep, steep slope. You plant the left pole, assume the hill is going up in this direction. You put the pole out in front of you with the ray you want to advance. In this case, it's left. I want to go left. And then bring that ski up. Put it under pretty close to that ski pole. Push it off the right pole. Bring that right ski up. And you can keep going up the hill this way. You can do the same thing for the left direction. I'll demonstrate that here. You can do that same thing for the left direction. Again, plant that right pole where you're comfortable, pick up your right ski, plant it, and you got to bring in your right ski, and then you bring your le or left ski, rather, and then you bring your left pole over and repeat that process as you go up the hill. Now this is the slowest way to advance up the hill, but it's almost the surest way. Okay. Okay, the final technique is the herringbone. As I mentioned earlier, it's like doing successive step turns. And on a steep hill, it gets fairly difficult to do and takes quite a bit of practice. And again, it's a very dynamic process because you're pushing your weight successfully on each ski as you move. And you've got to keep moving or you slide backwards. So let's assume that this is the uphill direction. 
So the first thing I would do is to do that left hand uh, step like I showed in the last video. And then I'll immediately go to the right. I'll just demonstrate that real quick here. So I do the left, plant that pole, do a right, do the left, and you can see each point that I each step that I take, I have to transfer all that weight with a lot of confidence. If you try and split your weight, you'll be sitting on your tips and tails of your skis and you'll start sliding. So you gotta have a lot of confidence in what you do there, and you gotta be bold about it.